Good afternoon. Once again, coming to you live from the driver's seat. And today, man, it's Wednesday. And what we're talking about today is, mm, gotta talk about a story. How many people have ever heard the story about the man sowing seed? You know, the first part of the story is he sows seed, and while he's sowing it, some falls along the path. And the birds swoop down and they gather it up and they eat it. You know, now the story goes on a little bit further and it talks about stony ground. But today we're just going to talk about sowing seed and some falling out and the birds coming down and gathering it up. Now, the reason I want to start there is because that first of all, that's the first part of it. But the thing about it is there are about four things in there that we really need to look at. Now, I know you're saying that one little scripture there's about four things we can see yeah in one scripture there's about four things we can see the first thing is that the man has seed that's a good thing you know sometimes we look at seed and we say well what am I going to do with this but the seed if planted and grown will yield the harvest you know but you got to train it up you know but a lot of us don't really want something that we got to work at we just want it ready made pop out the microwave bless it but in this case god gave him something that he could use to get the things that he needed so first and foremost we just want to be grateful for the fact that we got health um that we got sound mind you know that we have a job might not have the job we want but we have an opportunity to take what we have and multiply it. you know so that's the first thing that he actually has some seed and the second thing is that he was sowing it, which means he was doing something with it. You know, he didn't just sit on it. He didn't put it in his pocket. You know, he actually was putting it out there. And a lot of us, we sitting on our gift, man. We're not putting it out there. We're not making videos. We're not writing books. We're not starting businesses. We're not doing any of the things that we know in our hearts that we need to be doing. You know, we're not starting the t-shirt line or the shoe designs or the hats, whatever. Whatever God is giving you to sustain you, whatever your seed is, man, we got to throw it out there. You know, now true enough, some of it might fall along the way and it might not always work out perfect. You know, but if people keep snatching it, you got to still keep planting it. Bottom line. You know, and the next thing is you got to value your seed. You know, because again, we want that microwave blessing. But sometimes people see something you don't see. You know, those birds saw value in that seed. So as soon as it hit the ground, they swoop right down and pick it up. And now how many of you have put down your blessing, put down your gift, put down your idea only to see someone else take your idea, take your hand and play it better than you? You know, so the seed is valuable. Got to make sure that you are taking care of the gift that God is giving you. And the fourth thing man, is, hey, he wasn't afraid. He didn't let the birds stop him from sowing. You know, he wasn't worried about getting pooped on. He wasn't worried about any of these things that could have happened. The birds could have flown low. They could have formed, you know, some kind of, you know, posse and just started to peck at him. But he didn't worry about that. He kept on sowing. You know, you hear me say this a lot. The devil really doesn't care if you're happy or not. He is not trying to steal your joy. Makes him no difference if you're in a good mood or not. What makes him want to stop you is your productivity. You know, if he could stop you from sowing them seeds, if he could stop you from watering them seeds, then he could stop you from having a harvest. Now, you could go out there every day unhappy and keep pouring water on your seed and still get a harvest. So emotions aside, productivity is what he's trying to stop. But in the case of this man who was sowing, even when the birds were flying around, he didn't stop. You know, so those are the four things that we could learn today. And 
ultimately, what I really want to get at and what I want people to see today is that it's a process, man. And along the way, there are going to be some things that are going to get in your way. There are going to be some birds that show up. You're going to lose some of the things that God gave you. But you just got to keep on sowing. Because if you don't sow, you don't grow. And if you don't grow, you will never have a harvest. So until the next time you see me, have a great day. And like I always say, to those who have been given dominion, they were born to dominate. I'm out.